Thank you to my friends at Native for sponsoring today's What I Eat in a Week video. Good morning, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to another video. I hope you have been keeping very well. I'm really excited because today I am sharing with you another week of vegan eats. I know you guys love these videos. I love making them for you. So uh, yeah, I appreciate the love. And before we get into the week of eats, I wanted to say a quick shout out to my friends at Native and thank them for sponsoring today's video. I am vegan, of course, and so it's very important to me that I am using vegan and cruelty-free products on my body. I switched to a natural deodorant years ago, but I have been using Native for like maybe five or six months now and it is hands down the best natural deodorant I have ever used. The main reasons why I love native deodorant is because it is not sticky, it dries super quickly and it lasts me all day. I'm someone who lives a pretty varied lifestyle meaning that some days I'll be going out hiking all day, other days I'll be spending the day at my desk sitting at my computer and working and I have found that it works for me no matter what I am doing. Native have a super wide range of choices. Lately I have been using the unscented which I love just for my like daily natural deodorant but I've also been loving the coastal oak and amber which has this really earthy scent to it as well as the sweet peach and nectar which I would say is my favorite because peach is just like my ultimate favorite scent and when I was showing Kara this deodorant she was smelling the sweet peach and nectar and she was like this makes you smell like a candle and I was like that is exactly what I want from a natural deodorant. The ingredients in native deodorants are super familiar with ingredients like coconut oil and shea butter and they are also aluminum free, sulfate and paraben free. And although native deodorants are usually 36 US dollars for a pack of three, if you use my link and my code you will get them for 24 US dollars. If you're interested in trying a new natural deodorant I really recommend checking out native. The link and my code will be down in the description box below and yeah thank you so much to native for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into what I eat in a week as a vegan. So to start the week on Monday morning, I had some of these delicious gluten-free bagels. If you're in Australia, you can get them at Woolworths and I definitely recommend giving them a go. I toasted them and then topped them with vegan cream cheese, sliced tomato, pepper, and a pinch of salt. And then of course, I served it with a soy ice chocolate for a very delicious start to the week. After this, I was feeling a bit peckish, so had some EXO Crunch, which I feel deserves icon status in the Australian cereal market. Uh, but yeah, this was really delicious. I really enjoyed this cereal and just having it in my house as a snack when I'm feeling it. For a late lunch today, I served some roasted cauliflower and chickpea tempeh on a bed of spinach. And then I very simply drizzled with a tahini lemon dressing and hemp seeds. This was very, very easy and always very delicious. I mean, I feel like I say everything's delicious, but it is, I promise. <laughs> I was feeling pretty lazy on Monday night and so for dinner I simply cooked up some chickpea pasta and then also fried some kale in nutritional yeast and salt. I then served the chickpea pasta with some tomato passata sauce which I just stirred through, served it with the crispy kale and topped it with nutritional yeast for some extra flavor. Tuesday morning very simply started with some maple tahini granola. I have a recipe for this in a previous video so I will link it down below if you want to check it out. I very simply served this with some plant-based milk and coconut yogurt for a quick and easy breakfast. I was feeling something hearty for lunch after this so I started by peeling and chopping a sweet potato before boiling it until it was soft. Then I mashed it with some herbs and spices. The full measurements are down in the description box below if you do want to make this at home. And I served it with some green peas, vegan and gluten-free sausages and barbecue sauce. I found this vegan and gluten-free pumpkin gnocchi at the supermarket and decided to give it a try and I'm very glad that I did. I very simply cooked it up and then made a homemade pesto to serve with it. The recipe for the pesto is in the description box below if you do want to try 
that at home. I also topped it with some sun-dried tomatoes and it was a very delicious end to the day. <music> up on Wednesday thinking about how delicious the vegan sausages were that I had the day before so I decided to have them for breakfast as well. I baked these in the oven whilst I made a chickpea scramble. I love chickpea scramble because I am not a big fan of tofu but I love to have something a little bit different for brekkie. I served this with some leftover pesto on gluten-free pumpkin and rosemary bread with the sausages and then I also put some barbecue sauce on top. For lunch, I decided to cook up the leftover pumpkin gnocchi that I had had the night before. I pan fried this with some chickpeas, sun-dried tomatoes, garlic, basil, and chives. And then I topped it with more chives and nutritional yeast. This was a very simple meal and a really great way to use up leftovers that I had in the fridge. This afternoon, I decided to try and make chocolate frappes for Cara and I, and they actually turned out really, really good. I would love to make a video all about delicious vegan drinks that I can make at home but the recipe for this one is already down in the description box if you do want to give it a go. I think we all know I simply cannot go a week without nachos because they are like my favorite meal so I made some nachos this evening with barbecue corn chips, salsa, charred corn, smoky black beans, cashew cream cheese, guacamole, and spring onion, which was the perfect end to a very busy day. I was in quite a rush on Thursday morning, so to start the day, I just had a quick glass of juice before heading out, and then once I came home, I made myself an avocado on toast moment. And can I just note, that it's Thursday and I'm only just having avocado on toast for breakfast, which is so off brand, but yeah, apparently this is what I did this week. So uh, I decided to make some avocado toast simply with some crispy gluten-free bread. I topped it with cashew cheese, sliced avocado, chives, salt, and pepper, and it was really delicious. For lunch, I was in the mood for tacos and I just kept it super simple. I had three tortillas with salsa, spinach, tempeh, charred corn, guacamole, and coriander. For dinner on Thursday night, I went to one of my favorite vegan restaurants with my dad and my best friend where we had some drinks. I had a really yummy cocktail. We had some delicious crispy cauliflower with vegan aioli. They had some bao and then we all had big bowls of ramen. My ramen was a mean green broth with heaps of veggies and spinach noodles and was very, of course, delicious. <laughs> Friday morning started with an early morning date with one of my best friends. We went to a local gluten-free bakery and cafe and I had an iced cacao with a cauliflower, spinach and cashew cheese pastry. In the mid morning, I began to feel hungry. So I made a delicious chocolate sauce and I served it with two fresh oranges from the farmer's market. These are the best oranges I have ever had. They are so good uh, and I drizzled the chocolate on top of the oranges for a very delicious treat. In the early afternoon I started to feel hungry so I started by making a sweet balsamic dressing and in this I put some pears which I then put onto a baking tray and then I also uh, put some broccolini in and coated the broccolini and put that on the baking tray as well. I baked all of these in the oven until they were crispy and then I served them in a bowl with some cos lettuce as well as some balsamic maple toasted almonds and some cashew cheese crumb as well as the leftover balsamic dressing on top. For dinner, we went to a friend's house where they made us an epic vegan bao platter. This had barbecue jackfruit, popcorn cauliflower, salt and pepper tofu, baked mushrooms, and fresh veggies. We probably had like five or six bao each, and I had mine mostly with cauliflower and the most delicious hoisin sauce. <laughs> Saturday morning started with probably my favorite breakfast of the whole week, which was some crispy bread with cashew cheese, 
avocado, sun-dried tomatoes, an iconic combo, and such a nourishing start to the day. Cara and I actually went for a drive down to Byron Bay this day to visit my dad, and we stopped at one of our favorite coffee shops on the way. I got myself a soy ice chocolate because I don't drink coffee, and then I also got myself a chocolate hazelnut cookie, which was really good. Once we were in Byron, we went to a Mexican restaurant for lunch, and they had heaps of vegan options, which was awesome. Cara and I both decided to get vegan nachos, which were super delicious. I will link the restaurant down below. Afterwards, we went to a local pub where I got this like vanilla berry kind of cocktail thing, which was super delicious and especially enjoyable to drink in the afternoon sun. We were so tired when we got back to the Gold Coast that we decided to get takeaway from I Like Ramen. I very simply just got some rice, greens, and crispy cauliflower, which is my go-to order when I get takeaway from them. Sunday started with a cacao and peanut butter smoothie. If you've been around my channel a while, you'll know this is something that I have loved for a while, but lately I have been much more enjoying a savory breakfast to start the day. So I haven't been having this that much, but today I was feeling it and I just had it with a piece of gluten-free toast with vegan butter and Vegemite. For lunch, I started by frying some kale and some chickpea tempeh before serving them both in a bowl with some sun-dried tomatoes and a cashew cheese sauce and I've just realized in this moment that I feel like I've eaten so many sun-dried tomatoes this week. I didn't notice it like during the week but in this moment I'm like wow I had a lot of sun-dried tomatoes. Anyway to end the week my friend and I went out for dinner to celebrate her birthday at one of my favorite restaurants. I enjoyed a lemonade with cauliflower wings as well as the best vegan mac and cheese ever and then for dessert I had a rocky road brownie which kept me very very full and was an amazing way to end a delicious week of vegan eats. 